top story. Oakland police are looking for the gunman accused of shooting four people. Two of those victims have died and the other two are in critical condition. OPD says the shooting happened just after 9 a.m. in a residential neighborhood. Crown 4 Shaq Malmud has the latest details. All day on Saturday, Oakland police were here on scene on 83rd Avenue working to investigate what led up to a shooting that left two people killed and two others injured. Now, despite what happened here on this Saturday, we found a community that is still working to come together and celebrate the good times they do have here. Police helicopters in the sky and a birthday party happening on the ground. A stark contrast to what's happening down the street. For the family living in this neighboring home, they argue violent crime is so common in Oakland, they just choose to enjoy their Saturday. I've lived here basically my, in this area of Oakland my whole life. But it makes me very angry, just my own safety. It's like I never know what can happen and like what I can end up experiencing myself. Two people dead and two others injured outside this apartment complex near the corner of 83rd and Holly. The gunman police say on the loose after opening fire during an argument. Police were on scene all day to collect evidence. This is not working. Meantime, security cameras may be no help on Saturday. This family next door says their cameras just didn't work. Just my dad wanted to keep his keep it safe out here, you know, just try to see. Ernesto Argueta grew up in this home and says the shooting is sad, but not surprising. He says people were yelling outside as the ambulance took 40 minutes to arrive. Almost everywhere in Oakland is like that. It's not just in this in this area specifically, but it's like a lot of areas where it is. Uh, Loki, it's kind of kind of sad to say, but you're just like used to it. It's like you can't just like they always say they want to make change, but there's no change that happens. The shooting taking place just a day after Oakland police hosted a press conference saying crime is down in Oakland. The neighbors say they just don't see it. They need to stop doing it. That ain't solving no problem. Charles Blackmon says he's lived here 52 years and is sick of gun violence. He says he's given up on local government stepping in. You have no right by the laws of the living God to do that. When you sin against like this young man did, you have to pay the price for murder. So you don't get his just will. Now, despite the frustration from many neighbors here in this part of Oakland, the investigation is still continuing as to what led up to that shooting. Investigators and police say that the identities of those victims is not being released at this time. And of course, if you do have any information related to this case, you are expected to contact police. Reporting here in Oakland, Jack Mulmud, Cron 4 News.